everyone, it's Gloria. Welcome back to another video. I am so excited for this one. Happy September, by the way. One of my favorite months. Today is my three-year wedding anniversary and it's my birthday month. And because I'm pre-filming this, future Gloria is somewhere traveling in the UK. I believe she's in Dublin, Ireland right now, having fun. But in today's video, the two lovely ladies, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand, asked me to join in on Bookless Thursday. This is something they do every Thursday where they create a book themed video and chat about all things books. I am joining in on a five star prediction video, but not just any five star predictions, five star predictions that I feel are the most recommended to me, recommended by you guys. I'm gonna talk about the three books that I think have five star potential. In Sarah's video, she's gonna have her own three books that she chose and Lindsay's gonna have her own. Go check those videos down below if you haven't watched them already. And all three of us are gonna come back on October 27th to talk about these three books and if they lived up to that five star potential. So I have about two months to read the next three books that I'll mention. So book number one is The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult. I think very specifically, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, Amanda from The Curly Reader, and Christopher from Books and Jams all said that I need to read this book. And I have yet to read a Jodi Picoult book. This one is dual timeline, World War II, and present day, and I think there's reminiscing in the past. The story centers around a Nazi officer that just can't live with the guilt of the things that he did during the war, and somehow the story unfolds from there. But I'm very excited to read this one in the next couple months. Besides historical fiction, I also love to read nonfiction. So I'm gonna be picking up Lion by Saru Brearley. Now this one was specifically recommended to me by Krista from Books and Jams, but I've also had other people say, you need to read this one if you love nonfiction. This book tells the story of a man who was adopted as a child, grew up living in Australia, but he has some memory of the small Indian village that he grew up in. And so using Google Maps, he's able to find that that small village that he grew up in and I believe reunites with his birth family or gets to know his family of origin. I've been promised that this book will make me cry and I also hope to watch the movie paired along with the book. And then for my third pick, I almost went with historical fiction, but because Lindsay and Sarah love mystery thrillers so much, I thought I'd go with a mystery thriller and one that I almost got rid of, but because of all of you and your high praises and high recommendations, I decided to keep around and I'm really gonna try this time. And that is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Larson, a well-beloved book and series. And I really just need to give it a go. And I know that I need to make it past the first 100 pages before the story really picks up. So I am gonna give this one my all and we'll see how I fare with it. What I know about the story is that it follows an uh, investigator guy that has his personal life all messed up. He works with a girl who's a bit of a rebel and weird, but she's actually a genius, and they uncover some sort of mystery. I think something in the finance world, maybe some robbery. It is a translated work, I believe, originally from Swedish, and so we'll see how it goes. So these are my three five-star predictions, a mystery thriller, a nonfiction, and a historical fiction that I will be reading in the next couple months. And I will check in with you on October 27th about how I fared with these and whether they were five-star winners or not. Let me know what you think of my picks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please check out Lindsay and Sarah's channels and videos if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.